Today we are going over a bourbon that I just found out about and I've just tasted and I wanted to review for you guys. We're talking about Old Soul from Cathead Distillery Cast Strength. Cathead Distillery Old Soul Cast Strength. I'm excited. Let's talk about this. Let's go. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Carlos. Thank you for joining me. Ding, 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 ding. Here in the Whiskey Corner. Truly appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video, checking out the channel. You are all amazing. We passed 1,500 subscribers. If I could give you a hug, I'll give you a bro hug right now. Hell yes. Thank you guys so much. We have a goal of 2,500 if you don't know and I need your help to reach it. So please subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Only you guys can help me out, right? So you know how we do. You know how to party. I know how to party. We're gonna do some live stream. We're gonna do a giveaway. So need your help in getting to that goal. So what are we doing today? We're gonna try to do a rapid review, but I don't know if it's gonna be that rapid, right? <laughs> because we're gonna talk about Old Soul Castring. Now this is from Cathead Distillery in Mississippi. Don't know where in Mississippi, quite honestly. Maybe I should have done a little bit more Googling before this, but it is from Cathead Distillery and it says it's the product of Mississippi's oldest distillery. How old? I have no idea. And I don't think they really say it here, but this old soul was selected for a private client program. Throughout the maturation process, we keep a watchful eye on single barrel profiles that show a unique or distinguished characteristics. Now, this is only shared with clients with a discerning palette. Barrels that undergo this process are some of the most judged and carefully reviewed. So, what they're saying is that this is from their private, most elite selection. Is that true or not? I have no idea. But it's cool that they say it there, right? And they shared it with us. So this is a total wine um, pick. This is 117 proof and barrel number 16L05-58. Private selection by Total Wine. So I don't know Old Soul. Never heard of it, never tasted anything else. I have seen them on the shelves lately in my area. Um, and I think I saw them when I went to Mississippi, but I didn't really think anything of it, quite honestly. I mean, uh, just a, a bourbon from Mississippi really doesn't stand out to me. It's not until I saw it in, in this area that I was like, hmm, let me just try it. It was 70 bucks and, you know, I think Total Wine does a pretty good job. I'm pouring some out. Um, that they're actually good. Whoever picks their barrels are good. All the ones that I've had from ASW Distillery are amazing. So I decided to give it a try. 70 bucks and I was like, hmm, I don't know. I was in Miami, I got it, and I was pleasantly surprised. Now, I went to Miami, I didn't have a bourbon with me and I didn't really wanna keep going to bars or the hotel lobby and you know, paying a whole bunch of money to get a drink of whatever, I just decided to buy a barrel, if a, a bottle, if there was something that I liked in the area. I saw this and I bought it, 70 bucks, like I said. And I was pleasantly surprised. I, I actually liked it. So let's, let me, let me tell you guys, it's a little low, should pour it a little bit more, but let me tell you guys why I liked it so much. And I didn't have this bottle there that I'm comparing it to, but I wanted to see how good it compares to it here um, in person. So either way, let's go in for a nose and then a drink. Mm, this smells so freaking good. Um, you're getting like some caramel, some brown sugar, some vanilla, but not like, uh, I don't know, not, 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 not like a, not like a cheap vanilla or like a, or like a fake vanilla, like some good like vanilla that's into like some ice cream, um, like vanilla bean, some honey, and then it all comes together like it's, a, like if it's on, on a, on an oak plate, because you, you definitely smell that oak. This is good. I, I have to admit, like when I first smelled this, I was like, whoa, I was drawn in. So let's go in for a taste. Cheers. Mm. 
All right, so right off the bat, I gotta tell you, it's 117 proof. So it doesn't have a Kentucky hub, but it does have a little like, uh, like a little um, uh, throat punch to the top of your throat in the back. Like, oh, I'm here, I'm here. Um, that's what it's telling you, right? But then it goes down easily, right? Um, and then when it goes down, like, it's like if you have a sugar daddy and you're like melting it and it drops on your tongue, that's what I'm tasting. And then that vanilla bean from the, from like a vanilla ice cream. Like if you ever had vanilla bean ice cream, that, that like, that like true vanilla, you're tasting that with the caramel you get, and then you mix it up with a big wad of freaking brown sugar. Again, you serve it on an oak plate, and then you put a cherry on top. Yes, a cherry, because this has some good cherry notes, right? It's like a nice cherry finish, but not like a medicinal cherry, and not like a candy cherry. It's like a true, like, Sunday, like cherry on top of a Sunday type of thing, like a good sweet cherry. And what I was thinking when I first tasted this in Miami is I didn't have any other bourbon with me. And I was like, wow, this kind of reminds me of like Calumet 16. And I might be like committing blasphemy right now. I don't know. And we're going to taste it up against Calumet 16. But that's what I thought of from the beginning because when I tasted Calumet 16, it was like a lot of cherry flavors, right? But good cherries, not like Sam Houston 14 that I didn't like that medicinal cherry taste, but good cherries. So, I got a little bit of Calumet 16 here, but I think that's what it tastes like, like a little little brother of it. Um, but I gotta tell you guys, this is good. And at $70, this is like so worth it. Like so, so worth it. Um, so here we got a little bit of Calumet 16, All right? Here we go. All right, poured it. It's only a little bit. Cheers. All right, so that's a little bit more oaky. And it does have the medicinal cherry taste a little bit as well. It does have the sweet cherry taste as well. I, I really like, by the way, it's Calumet 16. Um, so maybe, no, maybe it doesn't remind me of Calumet 16. Uh, maybe like a faint little brother. Um, and it's crazy because I think Calumet 16 lets you know that it's there more and it's lower in proof. Yep, 106 proof. This one is 117 proof. And other than that little throat punch to the back of your throat, um, like it doesn't really like let you know that it's like there, like, hey, mother effer, I'm here. But Calumet 16 does. What this does is that it like it goes down so easy. It just, hey, I'm here. Comes soothe with me, you know. Um, cheers. Yeah. I mean, other than the cherry taste, it tastes nothing like Calumet 16. So I was totally wrong on that, but. Does that say that it's a bad bourbon? Hell no. These people at Cat Head Distillery in Mississippi, you might have something here, right? And I'm actually gonna look at some other old souls that I found around there because this actually made me a believer, right? This is freaking good. I don't know, guys. It just hits my palate so perfect, right? It, it does. And that 117 proof, it does not go down as 117 proof. It goes down like 100 proof, like 105 maybe, something around there. But it is so freaking good. I would recommend this. If you see it in your area, definitely pick it up, whether it's a total wine pick or not. If you see an old soul cast strength, yeah, definitely pick one up because I don't think you'll be disappointed. If it's anything like this, it's amazing. But if you see a total wine pick out there, yeah, definitely pick it up. 70 bucks, you won't be disappointed. Let me know, have you tasted this? 
comment below. I will really appreciate you guys. I love talking back and forth with you guys. Please like or dislike this video. Um, also, hey, we want to get to 2,500 subscribers. So hook it up. Subscribe. That really, really helped me out. This video is way too long, but I wanted to end it by saying thank you again. You guys are all amazing. I wouldn't even have thought I would get to 1,500 subscribers, um, even 1,000 or even 500. But now being at over 1,500, it's just like, I'm in awe of it. So thank you so much, guys. It's only because of you, gals, ladies, gentlemen. Thank you so much. Truly appreciate you guys. Thank you for all the support. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this old soul, and I want you to enjoy that whiskey. Cheers. Thank you.